immigrants constitute of 3.4% of the global population, contributing to 9.4% of the world's GDP, a figure that statistics from Frag Omen report says is likely to increase due to liberalized markets. According to the report, more Kenyans are now opting to migrate to African countries compared to other parts of the world. The report further states that Kenyans' preference to the regional migration is buoyed by high demand for skilled labor. This is as the number of immigrants from other continents to Africa continues to rise in search of greener pastures. However, African governments are now using biometrics to track immigrants, a move that the report says has contributed in locking out unskilled immigrants from working in many countries. Firstly, protectionism, stemming either from ideological anti-immigrant sentiment around the world or simply the need to address local unemployment and create job opportunities for local nationals. And governments have used a range of methods, including elimination of migration categories, limiting the use of short-term work permits, as has been done through elimination of the special pass in Uganda, for instance. Other methods include heightened eligibility criteria for work permits, such as limiting the professions available for work permits. Restrictions on immigrants seeking to work in the oil and gas industry have increased due to increased documentation and paper requirements for foreigners in the sector. With the Continental Free Trade Agreement coming into effect, the report projects immigration to increase due to liberalized markets. I think what is noteworthy about it is just the impact that it will have on our GDP as a continent, where you find that it may grow up to 1.3 to 1.4 billion, uh, 1.4 trillion dollars. Fiona Shuru for Channel One Business News.